Welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Justice for All. In the last episode, we received lag, but we got through uh, Trilo's testimony, and he didn't, he, there's no proof that he saw Max, but why is, oh yeah, it always lags when it saves. Like, holy crap, this is ridiculous. I would have been better off not saving. Why is it lagging so much? Ball sack. Well, I guess while we're sitting here waiting, um... Oh, here we go. So we were in that courtroom for like an hour. So, sweetie, you have to believe me. I didn't go anywhere near that crime scene. So then, where were you? Where were you when the murder took place? We talked about it yesterday. Remember, I was in the ringmaster's room. And while you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? Exactly. He told me to wait in the room because he would be right back. That's when the ringmaster headed to the scene of the crime, right? That's what it seems like. But the ringmaster must have been wearing Matthew's costume, right? Oh, sweetie, I just remembered. I went st when I went straight to the I went <clears throat> my voice. I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took off the co took the costume off. Oh God! Which means that means that the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like Max. Fabulous! That's a fabulously possible possibility. Hehe. <laughs> well done, Nick. However, sweetie, why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Hmm. If you think about it, all they found at the crime scene was my silk hat. What about my cloak? Where did that go? Double. Hmm. A detective. Yes. The fruitiest detective in the business with purple lipstick. I swear, if it wasn't for that, um... If it wasn't the way they have his shirt, I would have thought he was a girl. That was more than 10 minutes. That was 12. Now, looking at the courtroom, you gotta realize that Francisco's whip is longer than it looks. Because it, re it can reach across the courtroom. Very and hit, and he can hit the judges stage. Like what the heck? It doesn't even. <laughs> Lawrence Carl. What his name is Lawrence Curls? The witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. In the waistcoat. <laughs> Whoa! What was that? Name and occupation. Will the witness please inform the court why he's speaking? Oh, my alcohol gibberish. Uh oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to being in court. I've never been in a courtroom in my life. You're like 50 something years old, right? He's. No, thir 30 or 40. Yeah, he's 46. How have you not been in a courtroom? What in the world are you talking about? You're in the Grand Hall of Justice, not some comedy club. Since it's easy to see your occupation, please state your name for the court. Oh, yeah, maybe this joke is okay. Mom, do you have to wear pants? The sign is <laughs> the sign says no shirt, no shoes, no servant. I've wondered that myself, actually. Like, do you really have to wear pants? Okay, okay, how about this? Have you about my my, my proctologist, Dr. Seymour Butt? How was that one? <laughs> but a couple of clowns were up to no good, started making trouble in your name. Lawrence Curls, professional funny man, also kind of, also known as Mo the Clown. You witnessed the scene at around, you witnessed the scene at around 10:15 p.m. on the day of the murder, correct? Oh, now it's out of control. Yes, yes it is. Very well, Mr. Curls, will you please testify what you saw that evening? A rabbi, a priest, and a ref, Rastafarian. I didn't even get to, without the humor, please. Okay. Well, I mean... <clears throat> That's kind of surprising considering they let a whip-happy woman in here. I know, I know, I'm the greatest comedian in the world. I haven't been able to make people laugh for ten years, no matter what I... Um... <laughs> That's not what we meant. Um, 
Aren't we the ones supposed to be asking the questions here? Witness? Huh? You will listen to your call for help after the court proceedings are over. Thus, please stick with the facts of this case. Really? You'll hear me out? Well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. Oh, that poor person. Poor Gumshoe! <laughs> Okay, let's get down to business this time. Yeah, we heard. You almost kneeled over. You almost died. Two silhouettes? What? That's very interesting. If this eyewitness account is to be believed, I have to enough to pass judgment right now. Oh, balls. Of course you can. There's no way that this account can be criticized. However, the witness is a bit, how do you say, off-kilter. Almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding him. <laughs> that was because of my insincere smile. Mr. Wright, please begin the defense cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Responsible? Why am I responsible? What exactly does she mean by she will hold us responsible? I'm a little scared. Yeah, we know you almost died, apparently. You were pooped that night? Yeah, I was very, very tired. Not to mention I had some bad Mexican food. What? The double cheese double. Bean enchilada is a dangerous menu item. What happened after that? As they say, happens. <laughs> that was one cool, huh? I hear the kids really love toilet humor these days. That joke was so hip, I don't even want to ruin it with a reply. Well, are you serious? Oh, that was, that was cheap. That was really cheap. Um... That was just stupid. You just happened to glance out of the window? You could say that. You could also say I peeked, stared, and glimpsed, peeped, eyeballed. Mr. Curls! Oh, I guess synonyms aren't allowed either. Let's keep going. Exactly why did you look up out of your window that night? Why? Why? Clowns don't need a reason to look out their windows, do they? That's not what I meant. I meant that, well, when we spoke yesterday... Once I had tucker, tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Oh yeah, I forgot about that! You forgot?! Your Honor, the witness looked out of his window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not just simply glance out of his window that night. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention that thump, didn't I? Yo, yo, yo. That's not something you just forget to mention. Um, yeah, what she said. I believe it would be best if Moto revised his testimony. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Curls, please revise your testimony. What was the sound like? Well, I guess it was kind of sounded like a, hmm, I guess you could say, Mr. Curls, may the court remind you that humor is unnecessary. Oh, how is it always going to make a joke? <laughs> I guess the sound sounded like a, suppose it sounded like someone getting hit with something very hard. Yep, that's what it sounded like, honestly. Someone getting hit. What then? You went up, you went to look out the window when you saw? Far away, you say, if you had to say exactly how far were they. Let me think about that for a second. My room is here, and they looked about yay big. I'd say they were about three feet from my window. 
just 30 feet? That's not far at all. It was snowing that night, and it cut down on the visibility. I see. Please continue with your testimony regarding the two shadows that you saw. It was the ringmaster, and he was with Max, who was wearing his cloak. You'd say you'd silly claw it. You'd silly claw this, even though you were by your own admission far away. That's right. I had been thinking about it over and over since that night. But things didn't really make sense until I spoke with the prosecutor, Miss Von Kahn. Of course. Uppity symbols. Uppity symbols. Lawyers nowadays. Do you even have to go to school anymore to be one? All right, everyone knows what to do. All together now. Say it with Uncle Mo. See what I mean? It's always like this. The crowd never wants to go along with me. You did? Are you sure? You say you saw the ringmaster get clonked over the head? Yes, I did. It's the climax of my story. What would you say the victim was struck with? You mean weapon? I have no idea. Weapon wasn't found at the murder scene, right? No, no, no. You did say you saw the entire thing, didn't you? Well, I, um, yeah, I suppose I did. Wait, no, I didn't. They didn't see a weapon. <laughs> Mo, did you or did you not see the crime of the murder? The crap, crime? Did you not see the crime of murder committed that night? I will not permit you to harass my witness in this manner. You better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. You attack him? Because if you don't, you know what's waiting for you. Oh my gosh! Wasn't that a bit melodramatic? You know what? Of course I do. I've got a great reason to make my claim. And I suppose you will be telling us that great reason? Of course I will. The reason is... The witness's very own testimony! Well, what is the meaning of that, Mr. Wright? Mo said that he heard a sound like a thump of someone getting hit. Hmm, he did say that. However, Mo just stated that the falling under oath... If Mo's believe what he said... If Mo is to be believed when he says he looked out the window upon hearing a sound... There's no way he could have seen Mac clonk anyone. <laughs> what the heck is he talking about? Mr. Curls, how do you respond to Mr. Wright's assessment? They didn't commit these clowns promptly. What are you talking about? Uh, the C team theme angry to this court. I'm sulling for time. Pretty much. When I looked out my window that night, the ringmaster was already face down in the snow. The prosecution helped me fill in the gaps of my statement. Karma? You're putting us through this crap again? So he was already dead by the time he looked. A silhouette. Okay, so testify about the silhouette. Poor Mo. Even though he's not funny. I mean, come on. His uppity symbols. I like how he says that. Excuse me? Fluttering in the wind. His uppity symbols. <laughs> I could imagine him saying it like that. Uppity symbols. Now you probably noticed it. 
because I just said it a lot of times. I'm just giving you hints right here. Uppity symbols. I think this one actually gave me trouble. No, I didn't. It couldn't have. Because... Well, I almost presented the circus map. I almost presented the circus map. You say you saw all of Max's uppity symbols? I suppose so. The still cat in the cloak, right? Mo. Everyone knows that Maximilian Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols? Yay, everyone ready? All together, now. Yep, I definitely remember this because this was annoying. What the? Who cares if he knew that there was three or not? He saw what he saw, and he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Isn't that right, Mo? Do you like pie? I love pie. <laughs> Silence, fool! You are to respond with the whole truth, no fractions. Mo, I pick music. You didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there wasn't any roses on the person I saw. The crime scene was dark. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. Then the roses must have fallen off while the defendant assaulted the victim. If that's the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly material to the facts of this case? Clearly not. He's just toying with this court. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trilo's testimony? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. How could you mistake someone with a crazy get-up and his nose stuck up so high? How could you mistake someone wearing such, such a snobby three-piece get-up? Trilo saw them all! Trilo saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims there were no white roses on the person he saw. There is absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction! Hmm, now what am I supposed to think? One is supposed to just disregard the pointless, but this... Judge, forget the roses! Think about this other testimony! The witness stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica! Nothing else matters! Let's wrap this case up now! Your Honor, it may be trivial, but there still should be some doubt lingering in your mind. Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that, unlike wine, this witness has not grown much more mature with age. I'm not mature? Ah. I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain that this witness- What?! Oh, okay, well... Thankfully you have that 1% of doubt. But what If there are no contradictions in his next statement, I am prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling?! Nick, this is your last chance! Son of a- I most definitely remember this testimony. Oh my god. Oh my god. This, this, it's not this testimony, it's about this testimony. Mr. Wright, you've got one last chance at this. Just one chance? I will not allow even the slightest hint of bad thing against this witness. If you are going to prove me there is a contradiction with Mr. Curl's statement, you better have at least a shred of evidence to back up your accusations. I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all I will need. Now, I'm just going to make a safe state here because, uh... Let me show you what happens when you press. Uh, I'm, I just want to show you what happens. It's just, this, this, for the love of God, don't press this guy. Just watch. Mo, be honest. Ow! Look at this penalty. You promised Mr. Wright no more badgering. Ah, oh, I thought the penalty was actually a lot bigger. Huh. I don't think the penalty was a lot bigger. Oh, well. Just don't press this guy at all. He was wearing it the entire time? Then what's this? This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Yep, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question in your mind? Exactly how would one mistake a thing like that? I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma? Where exactly was the silk hat found? Must you always ask these questions? It was found at the crime scene! The, the crime scene? That means... 
the silk hat fell off the hat, fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. No, that's not true. Order, 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 Mr. Curls. Yes, Your Honor. What is the meaning of all of this? You are old enough to know better to behave like this in court. Hey, that's just not right. That's so harsh. What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory, amongst other things. Wh Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Let me guess, you just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and insult my eyesight or memory. They're both great. Seriously, why? Just because you're sitting above me doesn't mean you belong there. And no matter how old I get, I'll always be younger than you. What? <laughs> Enough of this child's outburst, Mr. Curls. Who do you think you are? Old person battle, let's go! I saw him, I swear I saw him! It was Max! Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb silk hat! I'm telling the truth! He's turned into a brave little kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat! He was there! He left the scene? There's something I've been mulling over a while now. Mo? What do you want? You said he just- you just said he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? What? He, um, he went- What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that. Objection! Mr. Phoenix Fred is badgering the witness, Your Honor. Objection! This witness's memory is so full of holes, Miss Von Calmer. Protest is useless. Uh, you've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that all right with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is how did he leave the crime scene? The answer is obvious. He just turned around and walked away. That's what I expected you to say. You sure that's how it happened? Huh? Huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Do you have any proof to counter his story as to why the how the criminal left the scene? No. Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints here in the snow. Footprints? In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. Ah, yeah! So, Mo, exactly how did the criminal escape the scene? Um, he, uh, Your Honor? This witness has already proven his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of this witness's testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is rickety as the clown card came to court. In. Just wait a second! You guys can ignore everything I've said! Fine, fine, I'll tell you the truth this time! Even Francis is getting pissed off. You wait a second! I think you said more than enough for today! That didn't hurt! I'm sick of tired and listening to you anyway! I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear! I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are going to get worse before they get better. Mr. Lord's Curls. Yes. The testimony you've provided up until now has been false? It hasn't been false. I haven't lied. It's just... It's just what? It's just I was a bit confused on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Kalman and Rip told me not to talk about what I really saw. Order, order, I will have order! Francisco von Karma, how could you? And she's used to this, isn't she? Your Honor, if you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you saw. Ha! Huh, you're not gonna believe this, but it's all true, I tell you. Try not to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. There's more? I don't remember this. Crap. Oh my god. I'm sorry, what? I told you it wasn't funny. 
Do you believe me now? Well, that was, um, how do you put this into words?